Hi, I'm Wayne with Juniper Networks. I'm here this week at the Carrier SDN and NFE event in Denver, uh, hosted by Light Reading. And I'm here with Karsten from EANTC. So welcome, Karsten. Hi, Wayne. So let's talk a little bit about virtual CPE, because it's one of the hot topics still recurring in the industry. And we've found some very interesting results recently about uh, the capabilities with virtual CPE. And uh, let's, let's hand it over to Carson and talk about that a little bit. Thanks, Wayne. So my company, the European Advanced Networking Test Center, ENTC, had been commissioned by Light Reading to uh, do an independent evaluation of Juniper's Cloud CPE, which is a virtualized CPE solution, in, including uh, Contrail, Contrail Services Orchestrator, uh, virtual network functions, and uh, the network environment. So we actually looked at many aspects, starting from the provisioning, uh, going through fault management, performance monitoring, resilience, scale of orchestration, and we evaluated all of this in Juniper's labs in Sunnyvale just a month ago. And what we hear from the customers this week here at this event is they're continuing to look for the platform that they can accelerate the delivery of services there to their customers and reduce the manual workflows from an operational standpoint and really create an automated system. And I think that what we found with this testing with the EANTC is the ability to deliver a platform as such and um, maybe we can go into some of those uh, specific scenarios. Right, so we looked at this simplification uh, actually to uh, do plug and play pro provisioning, to do um, simplified uh, customer portal, which allows the customer to actually understand what's going on. Um, we looked at integration of the network configuration in with the Contrail Services Orchestrator, which is also very helpful because the network configuration can be a major hassle. Yes, absolutely. So as we transition into this, you know, some of the harder problems that we're starting to see with real customer deployments, you know, these, these features that we've talked about are some of the baseline capabilities. But two areas specifically I would call out is that of integrations. You know, carriers have networks that they have in existence today, and being able to blend the virtualized world into the physical world that they've got is a key element. And secondly, no carrier is going to take these capabilities to market without a level of assurance that there is some method of auto detection of errors and auto healing of these capabilities in a virtualized manner. Right, exactly. And the, the last point that we really focused on in terms of assurance was resiliency and scale of the orchestration. So basically, I think nobody is going to uh, run a production grade service until they're convinced this will actually scale. So we deployed 300 services in the lab that the Contrail Services Orchestrator managed. And we also actually shut off the main orchestrator instance during some provisioning activity and verified that a backup instance would take over seamlessly. So, thumbs up for this evaluation week. Yeah, and thank you for the <laughs> partnership here with us, Karsten. So, if the, cust the viewership would like to find out more, uh, what, sh what should they do, Karsten? Well, definitely, please read the report. Uh, there is a nine-page report available on lightreading.com publicly, no registration required, and uh, that's, that's one of the calls to action. And I would also call out a recent report that Heavy Reading had done on traversing the maze of uh, NFE virtualization. In there, we probed uh, many service providers around the world in terms of their toughest challenges and what they're looking for. And it was a great report, and I think you'll find that very interesting. 